Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to teach you how to make points stick to geometry. Um, this is a super important thing to do because like if you want to do like any kind of action to geometry and it moves, most likely the points are going to jump and jitter. So let me show you how we can go about doing this. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to go Mixamo. And I'm gonna pick my character, just download it, and we'll bring it into Houdini. So this part, it can be any character you want. I recommend doing it with Mixamo, because the characters are very easy. If you have Adobe, you can download any of them that you want, and um, and we can get started. So let me just fast forward this part of the video. Alrighty, so now I've downloaded my FBX. Let's go ahead and bring it into Houdini. So let's go close this. And what I'm gonna do is file, import, film box, FBX. And let's just select our, our FBX that we import into our scene. Now we have our FBX and it's probably huge on the scene. So I'm gonna drop an all. And I'm just gonna scale it down to the standard, which is a uh, 0.01. All right, so we've got our character in the scene, and if we scrub, we're gonna see that the character is animated. So one thing that I like to do is I I, I don't like when you come in and you see like this huge network. Um, so what you want to do is select your character and then you say um, on your subnet Alright guys, so now that we have scaled it down to 0.01, let's come in here and let's see what we need to put in. If you pull out, you're going to see that all of this one is like the skeleton network. You don't want to delete that because it's just going to screw up, screw up like the deformation of the character. But in here you can see that this right here is creating the deform. Um, if we disable it, you will see that we go back to our T-pose. So our bone deform is what's going to make our character deform based on the animation so based on like the bones so we're gonna say out character here let's come out and let's drop on the geometry node and now we can make this invisible and we'll just do an object merge let's come in here and let's select our out character so that we can bring it in here 
and now we have the animated character on our scene. Now, here's a problem. If we drop down a scatter to scatter some points onto our character, they're going to be jumping around every single point. And you might not see it, but if we type, if we click on the point number, you will come close and you will see that the point number is changing every single frame. And that's a big problem if you want to do hair and if you want to do many things. Um, I can show you guys a few examples of the things that you can do once you get this dialed in. So what we want to do is uh, we want to do a point capture, uh, point deform is what you want. And then um, we're going to do um, the mesh to deform would be your first input. Then the rest point lattice is um, just the first frame. So we want to do um, time shift and let's just set it to the first uh, frame. And the third one uh, is going to be, if you middle click on it, um, it's going to be the deform point lattice. Okay guys, so I had a little bit of a brain fart right there. So we have our incoming geometry right here. And then we have a time shift and a time shift here as well. Just because I want to freeze it on the first frame. So it's static geometry. And we could literally just connect this to both points, both things here. Uh, you don't need points on the second input, but you do want to have points here because this is what we're going to be deforming. If you hit play here, you will see that it doesn't move. And if we increase the point count, you'll see that it's going to increase our point count there. And then right here, we have incoming geometry of the actual moving geo. So what this is going to do is it's going to stick those points to the moving geo. And then you have a character with points that... Um, that the points don't don't jump so if we come back here and we zoom real close for example here and we play you'll see that now the points stick like they are not moving and then you can change the amount of points here easily boom and then the points are still going to stick to the character let's come back out And this is something that works for everything. You can animate a piece of geometry and use this and it'll work. So in the next tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you an example of what we can do with this. All right. Um, thanks for watching and we'll be back with more.